Okay, so we buy 200 units and then we pay 100,000 per unit. So we're paying 20 million dollars, right? My math is correct. Okay, 200 units at $100,000 a unit, $20 million. Then we add $10,000 per unit for the CapEx to do all of the units, to fix all the units up mm -hmm. so that we can get higher rent, okay? So that's another uh, $2 million, okay? So we're all in at, uh, at $22, 22 million. million, okay? We're all in at $22 million. Now let's just say, uh, actually, I'm going to go, there's, a, there's like three or four points to make on this. $22 million is what we're all in. Now, there's people that can get an 80% loan, okay? That's a million, six, one million, um, 80% of 20 million? Of 22 million, 80% of 20. Eight, so 16. 16, 16. so 17,600. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, so they can get a loan for seventeen six hundred. Okay, so then they're out of pocket. They're only out of pocket whatever that difference is. Okay, let's just say seventeen uh, to four point five million dollars roughly. Okay, now this is how we would do a bridge loan, and this would be a bridge loan being at eighty percent. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem because that extra amount will raise our rents, raise our collections. We're out of pocket $4.5 million here. What other syndicators do, they say, yes, it's $10,000 per unit, but you don't need to do all 200 units. Just plan on doing uh, 20 units, okay? So 20 units rather than 200 is only gonna cost $200,000, yeah. okay? So now, they're all in at 20,200 and they get that same 17 the loan is a little bit less so 20 uh, 16 160 okay so now 16 160 now they're still in for just a little bit less 4.3 or something yeah uh, and 4.1 okay so they're up 4.1 million dollars okay on that same type of thing Here's the problem. This loan, they're budgeting on a bridge loan on what the value is in year three. Okay, end of year two, year three, depending on what the bridge loan is. So they're saying, hey, my income and expense right now is and NOI is this here, but out here it's gonna be this, is what qualifies them for that loan. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that loan comes due let's just say that loan comes due in year two, okay? They only do the 20 units that I was talking about. They update the 20 units, which shows higher rent. Mm -hmm. Well, then they sell that property based on proof on of that, concept. On that higher rent. Okay, which they say they leave meat on the bone. Right. Okay, which is kind of bullshit, okay? So they set, so what they do is they do a proof of concept saying, hey, we can raise the rents. Mm -hmm. And then they say, now we're gonna sell this on Proforma to somebody else, okay? And so they're, they're planning on getting in, proving up the concept and getting out. You follow that so far? Mm -hmm. The problem is if if they don't sell in that time frame because they're trying to sell in like a year because they've got either a two or three year note, they're trying to get that done. Just get those 20 units done, show the proof of concept, and then sell it to somebody else leaving meat on the bone. Right. Okay. Here's the problem. If they can't sell it for some reason, they're $1.8 million short on their rehab. So we go in fully capitalized Okay, we go in there fully capitalized so that we can do all the units so we don't get caught in this trap. Because we have higher out of pocket, it lowers our overall yield over the long term. This is for a quick hit. Mm -hmm. This is if you're looking for IRR, you're just looking for a quick turn, make a little bit of money real quick. Um, is this business model? But with the prices 
interest rates going up, values have gone down five to 12% in the last 45 days. Well, if that keeps on going, keep that trend keeps going down, they aren't gonna be able to hit their numbers. If they don't hit their numbers, they can't sell it. They're upside down in it. Um, because that 80% loan doesn't justify um, this valuation because prices went down. Mm -hmm. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna have to do a cash call to either do more of the units, to and pay obviously the debt distributions service. distributions would stop at that Oh, point. distributions, they're, they're, they don't do distributions yeah. on this model. Because it's a quick flip. It's a quick flip. But they get down the road, as soon as they get down the road here, they can't sell it I mean, without losing money. Right. So it's a flawed thing. Here's the other thing. Now, I used a bridge loan on this. Um, if we turned around and did, uh, let's just say, just for ease of numbers, I'm going to go ahead and say a 50% loan. Okay, this is Fannie so Mae, Freddie Mac. Million. Um, so now, and let's just go back with what I would do, which is $2 million in rehab. So we're at $2.22 million. So that means our cash that's needed is $11 million and our loan is $11 million, okay? So because they only put in $4 million on buying it, their returns are gonna be much higher because we got $11 million in this, but we've got a safety net. Now I haven't done any of these 50% loans, but, um, but that's the safe thing to do because if the value goes down, you've got a longer term loan, right. you've got a lower loan to cost, so that protects you from this downside. That's why I like doing 10 year notes, is if interest rates go up, we're protected because we've got that lower interest rate. Mm -hmm. I don't like adjustable personally, because it's all about managing risk. I'd rather lower the risk, manage that risk, and have a little bit lower yields rather than swinging for the fences and risk striking out. Right. Okay, so that, so that's why you, there's gonna be blood in the water. There's a whole lot of people that teach this model, only put, only do 20 oh, units. Right. And now they're short on cash and they can't sell the property because of the debt that they have. So, so this is gonna trigger a lot of people to have this is going to sell. trigger a lot of people that are going to have to sell and they're going to be upside down in their property. So they're going to have to sell at a loss. 